The European Union has posted a military attaché in its mission in India for the first time, in reflection of growing defence and strategic cooperation between the two sides. India has been invited to the inauguration of the Maldives' new president on 17 November, however, the Indian government has not yet decided on its official representation at the ceremony. The crest of the fourth Project 15B destroyer INS Surat was unveiled yesterday. Israel is looking to hire 100,000 Indian workers to continue ongoing projects, as work permits for nearly 90,000 Palestinians has been cancelled. India and Bhutan have agreed on the final location survey of the first cross-border rail link between the two countries. The managing director of Bharat Forge has said, that a lot of work needs to be done to change policies at the state government level, as India is losing out on many opportunities in the manufacturing space, as a large part of new supply chains that are moving out of China, are going to Vietnam, Indonesia and Malaysia. The Standing Committee on Defence was briefed by DRDO, regarding the progress and status of radar systems that are currently under development, including the highly anticipated Very Long Range Radar, which is a vital component of India's Missile Defence and Space Surveillance Network. It is a one-faced radar equipped with transmit-receive modules based on gallium nitride technology, that are specially designed for the detection of missile launches taking place thousands of miles away, to provide extended early warning capability, thus facilitating precise queuing of fire control systems. According to media reports, the Indian military is facing challenges related to rifle shortages, as the local production of the Russian AK-203 rifles in India has experienced delays, and several operational glitches have emerged with the newly acquired SIG-716 rifles from the US. Military planners have formulated a strategy to upgrade the existing 10 lakh insurs rifles, under which it will get a steady butt stock, a handguard, new attachments for mounting optical sights, and lower picatinny rails for grips or bipods. Indian company Star Aerospace has already provided upgraded insurs rifles to paramilitary forces, and has now offered the same to the Indian Army, that will cost only 45% the cost of a new SIG-716 rifle. The Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard needs 9 and 6 maritime patrol aircraft respectively, in which Airbus C-295 based maritime patrol aircraft was seen as a prime contender. But as per latest reports, the Defence Acquisition Council has raised questions and concerns about the procurement of C-295-based maritime patrol aircraft, and has also placed a hold on the further acquisition of Boeing P-8I aircraft. Amidst these developments, the Franco-Italian aircraft manufacturer ATR has entered the competition, which has offered its ATR-72 MP new generation maritime patrol aircraft for the project that features a magnetic anomaly detector and two light torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare, and can also perform anti-surface warfare and electronic intelligence missions. Today's top 3 comments 